outside of yourself too often. Do you feel like uh, just kind of like that awareness has been beneficial to you in the NBA career so far? Um, I think so. Uh, you know, uh, one thing you have to do in the league, you got to find your niche and you got to, you know, do that um, at an unbelievable level. So that's something that I, um, you know, I'm trying to do. And, you know, you see guys that have made a, a long career um, doing those kind of things. So that's my biggest thing is knowing what I can do and part and it goes hand in hand and helping the team win. Like I said, I, my, you know, my biggest thing is I always want to help the team win. And if I'm out there doing, you know, trying to play outside of myself, uh, it's only a negative thing. So um, with that said, I expect to, you know, up to 10, 10 to 12 ISO and post-ups tomorrow and, uh, you know, to, to, to go out there and score uh, 35. What's up, Josh? This is Will Guillory from the Athletic. I think 35 might be kind of light. That might be shooting a little low. But, uh, nah. I was talking about 35 shots. Oh, 35 shots. I got you. I got you. Shots. So, uh, nah, I, I know Coach uh, said you've been finally been able to go full goal at, at practice the past few days. Just how are you feeling going into the uh, the first preseason game physically? And how tough is it, you know, going into a season having to fight stuff before you even start the real games? Um, def- Definitely hard. Uh, I mean, I really wasn't doing any basketball activity until the end of November, honestly. So and this is really my first, you know, two, three weeks of actually getting up and down, um, really getting the ball in my hand, being able to go full speed and do those kind of things. So I'm still trying to get in the rhythm, still trying to get get my legs under me and, and, and things like that. But um, right now it's, it's just about just continuing to, you know, get healthy, continuing to uh, to listen to, you know, the trainers and, and my doctor and, and, you know, the the program that I'm on strength-wise. So, um, but with that said, you know, the last several days have been feeling good just to kind of get up and down and um, you know, just play basketball at a high level. Hey, Josh, this is Ali Cosell with the Bird Rights. I'm curious, how uh, ready and eager is the team, you think, for tomorrow's preseason game? Like, for instance, how prepared do you guys feel both offensively and defensively? Um, I, I, mean, I think we feel very comfortable. Uh, I think we're still, you know, trying to get chemis- chemistry and um, get a feel for everyone on the court. So, you know, do we, we still have that aspect of it. So I don't think it's going to be perfect tomorrow, but we're definitely anxious to get out there and, um, you know, to, to see everything uh, – you know, go into a game situation. Obviously, we're out, out here going hard, being competitive in practice every day. And, you know, some of those things that we're trying to work on, like the habits and the attention to detail, when you see them in a game setting, it even gives you it gives you even more confidence about, you know, you're doing the right thing, you know, in practice. And I think that's the biggest thing for us. We want to see that, you know, those things trans, translate to court. And, you know, just throughout the whole season, that, that's what it's going to be. And you get more and more confident because you keep building those habits in practice. So we're definitely anxious, definitely eager to get out there. And, I mean, we haven't played a, a, an NBA game in, I don't know, four months, I think, five months. So uh, you know, we still got a bad taste in our mouth about, uh, you know, not doing what we were supposed to do last year. And, Josh, another quick question for you. Um, yesterday, Stan Van Gundy talked about Lonzo Ball and specifically really loving his communication on both ends of the court. What improvements or what have you seen just from Lonzo, you know, during training camp this far? Yeah, I mean, he, he knows his role and he knows what he has to do. And that's with the ball in, in his hand and not in his hand. So you know, he's been done an amazing job in terms of talking, communicating, get everyone matched up, um, let us know what we're running in terms of sets and stuff like that. And, you know, he just, you can tell he's getting in more mature and more and more comfortable in it, you know, in himself and being a leader. And I think that's the biggest thing, obviously, he came in to the league pretty young. Um, and, you know, he had a lot of expectations on him. And I think he's really starting to get comfortable in terms of, you know, knowing who he is, you know, you know being the leader that he is. And it's good to see. Hey, Josh, uh, Christian Clark again, just kind of looking at the roster on paper. I mean, it's a lot of guards. It's a lot of centers, not not a, a ton of wings. Um, it, I mean, it, it just kind of seems like like they're really going to need you, you know, to guard I mean, a lot of guys who maybe are, are even bigger than you. Like they're going to need a lot from you in the rebounding department. What's well, just kind of your mentality, you know, going into the year, knowing that 
like they're going to need you, I mean, to kind of play up at times, maybe. Um, nothing new. I mean, if you, if you look at what I've done in terms of the positions I've played in the last, you know, even, you know, in college, you know, that's what, that's what, you know, I did. I was, I wanted to be a, a versatile wing. I played, you know, there was times in college where in one game I'll be, you know, running some stuff at the point guard and then we go small and I'm the center. You know what I mean? So that's just something that I've um, always wanted to do. And I think that's something that's valuable for any team to have someone who's versatile that can defend multiple positions, that can play multiple positions on the offensive side. And it, you know, it helps your team just because, um, you know, if, you know, say Steven or one of our big Zion or somebody is in foul trouble and we go small, you don't have that, um, that void in terms of rebounding and toughness and those kind of things. So um, for me, it's it's nothing new. I, I, I get excited about those kind of things. I get excited about um, doing some of those, those dirty works that don't always show up on the stat sheet, but help teams win. So I'm looking forward to it. And you know, whatever role that they need me to play, I want to be versatile, versatile enough to you know, do that. Just, just a real quick follow up. You're running a, a little bit of center at Villanova. There was some, hey man, you 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 saw me do. Hey, I did a little bit at Villanova. I did a couple. Why go go back to my LA my LA clips, man? I, I did some screening and rolling and stuff like that, man. So, hey hey, I'm a I'm a I'm a shooting center. That's what I'm gonna be called. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a new position for myself this year. All right, thank you, Josh, for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks, Josh. Yep, my phone up, my phone out here. All right, everybody, that'll uh finish up for today. Have a good uh, Sunday.